Hi guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to watch another bicep workout. This is the first of any sets. This is an uh, emphasis on how to do bicep curls on dumbbells. Uh, in the future, maybe something on preacher curls. And also how to be all natural. Um, I don't take any supplements. I want to be lean, cut, and shredded. I don't take any enhancements, nothing like that at all for my workouts. This is just basically just eat and be healthy. I am a medical professional. I do hope that this gives me some credibility. Other than that, I've been doing this for almost 10 years. Uh, if you guys want to skip ahead, uh, the workout does start at 1 minute and 15 seconds. This is just me showing you guys that I present my scanner uh, to measure my weight at uh, I am 6 feet. That's what I just showed you. I am 6 feet. And it will tell you that I'm actually only 165 pounds. I don't think I I never really fluctuate maybe around 170 pound like 170 flat or something like that but yes this is just a preview I'm very lightweight but I think that's part of me because I don't take any supplements or enhancements whatsoever and I think that helps me with my physique extremely so here we go this is the to show you guys I always start with my first set and again it might be a little bit difficult because I always start with 40 pounds. Um, I actually am very consistent on this for the last couple years because that's what I'm comfortable with. So you do alternating curls, first with the right arm, then to the left arm, that's what I'm comfortable with. And you want to curl all the way up to your shoulder height. Uh, as you can see, I try to keep the best form as possible and it is very important. I think form and technique are the most important things about a workout uh, other than being that it's heavy and not or whatnot, what's the point of going heavy weight if you can't do it the right technique? Uh, it helps grow the muscle and um, just shows that you have good form and you're doing something that's correct. Uh, this is the first time I actually measured how long I rest in between my sets. I never did this before. I never knew how long I rested until I did this video. So it's about 56 seconds, but I think like one minute or about two minutes, uh, probably two minutes is max for like n even new people or new people who are uh, trying to work on a new exercise. I uh, do just want to, you want to stretch and relax your arms to have um, good blood flow there and to have it circulate to help you reset your muscles. I do want to say that when I do a set, I do target 8 reps to 10 reps. That's very important. You want to do a little bit higher reps, uh, but then the muscle will grow. You will see that. Um, a lot of tension will be around the elbows. That's how I felt like when I first started doing workouts. And I did start lower weight. Like I started around 20 pounds and 25 pounds. And I went up to 30. Then I am very stable at 40 now. Uh, this is the second part of the workout. I do both arms simultaneously. They both go up at the same time. You can see both the right arm and the left arm go up at the same time. Full extensions and full contractions at each arm. Uh, they go all the way down and all the way up. Uh, each rep is about one Mississippi. In the end, you do get a little bit fatigued, it does set in. As you can see, I'm a little bit tired and I try not to move my elbows. I don't try to move my shoulder. I don't try to move any of my body, but this one last set, as you can see, uh, anyone will get tired. I got tired, so maybe only the last rep, you might want to cheat a little bit or like maybe um, move a little bit more of your body to help you out to finish that last rep just to get to a set, a rep of 8 to 10. Again, now, this is probably my signature arm workout where I do one arm curl but consecutively. As you can see, my right arm is the only one curling right now. Not my left arm, only the right arm. It goes up and down eight times. Uh, I have a steady rate. I don't really do one and rest. It's a consistent and it's a good um, consistent rate where you're just counting up to eight. And during this whole time, I don't look anywhere else. I, I just focus on my workout and I breathe in when I go up and breathe out when I go down. Uh, after you finish the last rep, you want to go into a smooth transition to the other arm and do another 8 to 10 reps on the other arm. Again, you just want to keep good posture and form and you're just looking forward at the mirror at your own muscles to see how they're working. Again, you don't have to start at heavy weight. I, I always start around 40 pounds because that's what I'm comfortable at. But if you feel comfortable around 10 or 15 or 20 pounds to start, that's perfectly good. So those are the first three sets. First set is you alternate arms. Alternate your arms to do curls of 10 reps of each arm. 
next you do uh, simultaneous curls and the third one is consecutive curls on one arm at a time. Uh, this is just a close-up of the same workout where I do uh, simultaneous curls. They are easier and uh, they are easier for me to lift uh, and it finishes faster as I have to emphasize here. Try to move not to move any part of the body but just basically the elbows if anything that's because you're focusing on moving only the biceps where they contract from the elbow point. You want to select a curl bench. I like this bench, it's a little bit lower to the center of gravity. Uh, I have a good platform for me to set my feet. And I want to mention that it's very good to like hold the dumbbell right in the center of the middle so they don't slip and you have a firm grip. You can see my hand is firmly put it, placed in there. And this is one of those simultaneous curls again. Um, you do want to have good breathing. I'm not really breathing heavily here, but I am used to this weight. Um, you want to do full extensions and curls. Uh, do, again, <laughs> just don't throw your weights around. Uh, in my videos, you do see I did wear different shirts and muscle shirts and uh, pants or shorts. And that's because it does help me work out. I feel like if you're going to work out a certain muscle group, you should be able to see it and it should help you focus on your workout. You do want to stretch a little bit to get proper... Um, maximize output from your arms. Sometimes I do like stretch out my elbows by putting firm pressure around there. That's how I felt like that was very uh, fatigued or a lot of stress or tension around there when I first started doing my uh, very intense and focused workouts on my biceps. So you only want to contract and do not swing your body. Hold dumbbell in place for balance while you curl the other arm. You see I, the right arm is holding the dumbbell while my left arm is curling up and down. It's just to help you balance. I, I don't really make any noises when I curl uh, or do any of my workouts. I feel like that's uh, unnecessary. Uh, but sometimes I do think anger really did propel me in my workouts. Uh, that's just a personal note for me. I just feel like somehow it was a, it's like a stress when really when I go to the gym. I do listen to music. I think it's a big help. I use wireless Bluetooth headphones. Uh, as you can see, I don't have anything attached on me here um, to listen to music, so I don't use headphones. Sometimes they get in the way for me. Uh, looks like I do a lot of simultaneous curls, but they're not my favorite. Again, my signature is the um, one arm curls and. Those might be a little bit harder to start out first, but gradually you will go into it. I think uh, both genders can do this exercise, both men and women. Um, again, after each set, you might want to stretch your arms, walk around, get some water, uh, rest about one or two minutes. So this is just a front view of how to do it. I don't lean much. I don't swing my body much. Um, you want to sit straight up with a good posture. Keep your eyes on your form and maintain it. Uh, don't slouch, don't cheat basically on your on your workouts. I know it sounds hard, but um, six sets is a lot in my workouts. Like I do the first three sets and do another three of those, another two repetitions of those sets. And before, after this work, I actually have a lot more. Like I do preacher, standing preachers, and I do sitting curls and forearms and more preachers. And at the end, I do like about 20 sets maybe at max for arms, but like it's a range of 15 to 20 sets. Uh, right here, the second set is simultaneous curls. Uh, the third set is one arm curls, repetition of hands, like I explained before. Uh, again, this is just another view of me doing my signature workout with this one. I think I started off with my left arm. Uh, after all these curls, like, I do feel a little bit tired, so you can see I do rest my arm on the bottom before I send my uh, before I do my next curl. If I do feel that is very if I do feel very tired, you do want to get water in between as a short period rest to start your next workout. And when you start your next workout, just have a mindset of that you're gonna complete the set, so then you are engaged and ready to finish what you want to accomplish. Um, sometimes I do do shrugs or like I do like uh, what you might call it supersets. 
uh, to incorporate my workouts better to get a better uh, blood flow uh, right here this is just me after the curls this is exactly the same day after I did some of these videos just to show uh, how swollen or like how uh, your muscles tense up after a workout and that's how I look like and I've been doing this for a long time maybe like uh, uh, about almost 10 years a little bit less or less a little bit less or more than 10 years I just want to thank everyone for watching the video uh, please tune again I do have lots of other videos online on um, shoes phones and uh, whatnot and I hope you guys will look into those as well thank you for watching please share comment and subscribe please there are a lot of other videos in the channel. I hope you guys will check them out.